Braxton's. Well, who side y'all on? Put it down below in the comments. Whose side are you on? Are you on Tamar's side? Are you on Tawanda's side? I saw some people that feel like Tawanda is just really mean and doesn't want to let go of past angers towards Tamar. And I did a little deep dive, girl. Let me tell y'all. So apparently, back in the day, Tony wasn't the only one that left her sisters behind for a record deal. When Tracy, God rest her soul, got pregnant early on, it was only the thrice of them. Trina, Tamar, Twanda. They was about to do a little shoe bop, okay? A little threesome shoe bop. All right? Da, 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 boop, bop, bop, bop. They was about to do it, girl. And then Tamar decided to take a deal and she didn't tell her sisters about it and y'all when i tell y'all i remember when tamar had that solo deal because they used to play that video with her in the fur and the snow and she was singing her ass off and when i played that song i was like girl i used to know all the words to that song i forgot about that tamar girl we was a fan of yours back in the early 2000s back when you had your original face um to me i do understand that Tawanda is passive aggressive. Say what it is. Say what the issue is. Get it out on the table, girl. Just put it out there on the table, girl. Say, Tamar, I don't like you. You're my sister, but you do too much, okay? You do all the theatrics and you act all crazy. I can't even have a therapy session with you without you doing too goddamn much. So I'm not really feeling you like that. I don't wanna be your friend. And the only reason I'm here is because my mama is gonna guilt the hell out of me if I don't try to make friendship, try to make some type of relationship work with you. Now on Tamar's side, I feel like Tamar feel like Tawanda is never really telling her what the problem is. But the truth of the matter is, you know what the problem is. You obnoxious, you're obnoxious. You're annoying. You annoy us, the public. You annoy us. I don't care what y'all say in the comments. When all of that stuff happened last week with JR, what did y'all say? Y'all damn sure wasn't saying that Tamar was smart. Letting that white boy embarrass her all up and down the internet like that. Girl, I'm still not over the fact that you married him. You married him after he ate Tommy's ass. She was your enemy on the internet, girl, your nemesis. And he went over there. Listen, I don't know if y'all ever ate anybody's ass before. It is a firm decision. Once you were in there, you are in there. In between cheeks. You better hope they use wet wipes. Girl, we can't trust what Tommy Lee's ass has been. And he ate it. And he came back to you. And then put his white lips on you. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. Tamar is always the problem. But let's talk about it, okay? So y'all know the Braxtons is back. They are no longer the Braxton family values. They are just the Braxtons. They have... A therapy session where they are trying to talk about where everybody has been since Tracy passed away and to be very clear y'all I feel like all of them treated Tracy like shit Tamar wasn't the only one a lot of them treated Tracy like shit because Tracy was normal also because Tracy did not choose sides in the mama and daddy's divorce because the daddy was a preacher and y'all know that usually means ho he cheated on the mama and the mama was mad about it. The mama, 80 years old. She got one foot in the grave at this point. And yet and still, for some reason, the girls are still feeling emotionally like linked to whatever their mama got going on. So if their mama feel away, they feel away. Tracy was the only one that was like, girl, I'm still, I'm still gonna kick it with my daddy. I don't know what y'all talking about. That's still my daddy. I'm cool with my daddy. I'm back here in the DMV, girl. I'm not in Atlanta. I'm not in California. I'm in the DMV, so I'm gonna be with my daddy. Child, they was mad at her about that. And then, you know, all the resentment and everything over the years, but they have this therapy session and they're going back and forth and Tawanda doesn't have any hair. And I'm just like, so y'all not gonna do her like y'all did Jada? Remember when Jada said she had alopecia and y'all dragged her all up and down the sidewalk? Y'all not gonna do that to Tawanda? Please don't. She looks beautiful with no hair because she has excellent bone structure. But to me, I feel like at this point, I don't think y'all should have came back to TV because all y'all gonna do is showcase how y'all don't like each other. 
It was very, very sad, y'all. They had clips of Tracy in the hospital. Y'all know Tracy had cancer. So all of the sisters was going up there and spending time with her. But I noticed they kept showing us about the same three, four clips, which make me feel like y'all making it seem like they may have been there for her more than they really were. I'm not too sure, girl. But what I will say is y'all should have been there for y'all sister in the time of her passing. And I hope everybody was able to mend whatever was going on with them. But ultimately, between the two, Tawanda, stop being passive aggressive. Say what it is. You don't like her. You don't want to deal with her. Tamar, girl, I don't even know what to tell you. Because for me, I feel like there's no point in talking to you. You, you don't make sense. And Tony, 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 Tony. We tired of you. I'm tired of Tony because y'all give Tony, you know, oh, we want to give Tony the pat on the back because she was just being so. Girl, Tony don't like y'all neither. I feel like Tony don't like none of y'all. That's what I feel. I feel like Tony don't like Tracy, Tawanda, Tamar. Only reason that she spends time with her sisters is because her mom bullies her into it. Y'all know how these old mamas be. If they don't know how to do nothing, they know how to guilt trip the shit out of you. Okay, y'all, sometimes I don't even want to pick up the phone because I feel like it might be a guilt trip coming when I pick up the phone. Mm. So you ain't call me, ma'am. Ma'am, it's been 24 hours. What are you talking about? Okay, get away from me with this. But either way, the Braxton's is entertaining if y'all want to see a family implode again. If y'all want to see people arguing and crying and screaming at each other and Tamar flipping the fuck out. Like, if y'all want to see that, then y'all should catch the Braxton's. They come on on Thursdays on WeTV. I don't know what y'all had to change the name for if y'all was going to be with the same network. But okay, girl. It's messy. It's sad. It's a little depressing. But it's messy. Check it out if y'all want to. Moving on.